Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to go over the top 10 bleed immune characters in MCOC, in my opinion. So, just a few things to think about before we get into this tier list. Um, I will not be putting, like, Ghost, Aegon, anyone who can shrug off the debuff, they're not on this list, okay? Any character who can shrug off debuffs is not on the list, just mainly because, for example, say you have Aegon at the top of the list, okay, for best bleed immune character, but when he's ramped up. Imagine, you know, fucking what's his name? Um, or say best incinerate immune character because, you know, he can shrug off any debuff really. Imagine, what's his name? The. This character. I forgot his name completely. Imagine a long shot comes around to the special two and just one shots him because that one second he wasn't fully immune. So that's why I'm putting only characters who are immune, okay? Or extremely resistant. So no ghost. No Aegon, okay? These are just... No anyone that can shrug it off. No Apocalypse. Just characters that are immune. So starting off at our number 10 spot, we got Dragon Man. Dragon Man is a robot mystic that is bleed and poison immune. So for this list, he's on the bleed immune. What makes this character really good is he's double immune, he's mystic, he has really strong power gain and really strong damage in the corner. And when after a special three, he goes into this massive damage phase where you can regenerate almost all um, health taken when you get hit. For how many seconds? For... Um, so up to 12 seconds, I think. So, for me, he just is number 10, just because of his, you know, he's immune to bleed, he has crazy damage, and he can like, regen like crazy, and he's just super aggressive and fun. I don't have him yet, which kind of annoys me, um, but I really hope to get Dragon Man soon. So, in the number 9 spot, we got our boy, he's down here, we got our boy Sentinel. The reason why Sentinel's in the top 10 for best immune characters is mainly... Okay, so he's a robot, obviously, tech. He's poison and bleed immune. Um, he's extremely good against um, mutant characters. He has heal block, crazy incinerate damage. Very big health pull. But the reason I put him at number 9, he's on this list, not just because he's a good bleed immune character, but also he's an XL tech character. So he's really good for um, all uh, for a few advanced. And I'm pretty sure he's a villain, I do believe. Let me just see. Tags. He's also a villain, so he's at least super good for variant 2. Variant 3, I think, is the tech one, and the new villain one. So at least 3 of the 6 variants is really good for her. I think he's also good for the first one a little bit, and a few of the other ones, I think. I don't know, 100%. Um, but he's at least good for 3 of the 6 of them. He's honestly just a beast. He has crazy damage output, big health pool, heal block, armor break, incinerate. He um, destroys mutant characters, basically. One variant was just made just for him, the tech variant. The Sentinel also has like his own nodes for that variant. Like He's just med for, made for that. So overall, he's just a really strong bleed immune character. Um, the other thing is, you kind of want him awakened. So that is our number nine spot. At number eight, we got Black Widow Clairvoyant. A lot of Guerrero Clairvoyant is a very interesting character because she has three states and each state she's immune to a different debuff. And they all do different things. So she starts off in her bleed immune phase. In that phase, when you throw a special two, it um, not only puts buff immunity in them so they can't get any buffs, but it also, in every hit of the special two, it takes a percentage of the damage you dealt and regens back to her. So in her bleed phase, a Black Widow Clairvoyant can just spam special twos and just keep herself topped up at all times. Black Widow's Clairvoyant's an excellent character, definitely top two mystics in the game, probably number two behind Doom, but for this list, she's definitely above Doom, because Doom is not bleed immune. So, you know, you just stay in her bleed, uh, bleed phase the whole game, uh, Curse of Blood, and you can just instant, just infinitely regenerate, and yeah, she's a really good character overall, Black Widow Clairvoyant, number um, eight on the list. Number seven, we got our boy, Warlock. Warlock is an XL tech character once again, so and a villain. Um, no, he's actually a hero, so he's really good for two of the variants at least. Um, he's really good for the tech and really good for the XL variant. He has a he's immune to bleed, poison, cold snap, and frostbite. So he's immune to for this list at least. He's immune to bleed, so Warlock's really fucking good for that. Then you take in consideration with his infections. 
you can permanently basically turn off all healing in the game. So just that alone makes him so good that he's probably one of the best heal blockers in the game. Um, passive heal block, so you know deep. So he's no, so buff people that shrug off buffs and debuffs aren't immune to it because it's a passive heal block. It's really good. He's just a really good character. He has a really strong bleed on his heavy attack. Really strong special too. Um, he has all these immunities. He also is just super good for some of the variants. So Warlock's pretty much a must-have on your team for a very strong robot um, heal block immune character. He can also power drain on the special one, regenerate on the special three. He's just an overall beast. Um, and yeah, once again, because he's an XL tech character, he's really good for the tech variant and really good for the XL variant. Now I go on to number six. This is when the list gets a little bit um, like competitive or very competitive because these characters are all um, really strong. Number six, best bleed counter is Colossus. Colossus, if he's high sig, can take a bleed and has a good chance to turn it, convert it into an armor to a permanent armor buff. I think I said 200 is like 45 or 50 percent chance. He's immune to all bleed, incinerate, cold snap, and frostbite effects. So he's triple immune, really good character. His damage is insane. His heavy attacks are just so good. He can do so much damage in such a small amount of hits. Colossus, overall, really good character. I mean, he, he can do like Labyrinth of Legends crazy fast with some cool synergies. He has really good synergies with Omega Red and Emma Frost, two really good characters themselves. So yeah, Colossus, just being bleed immune and being able to convert those bleeds into some of the craziest numbers in the game gives him the number six spot on this list. Number five, we have, where is she? Guillotine 2099. I would love to get this character awakened in rank three. What makes Guillotine 2099 so good? The fact that she's a robot, so just that alone already gives her immune to bleed and poison. That's why she's on this list, obviously. Um, the fact that she can just do some of the craziest damage output in the game. You can bring her into Labyrinth of Legends and solo every single fight with her, pretty much, except for I think like one. Like I think like you can't solo Electro. And yeah, she's basically the queen of Labyrinth, and Aegon is basically the king. She's the second best Labyrinth option behind Aegon. Her damage is crazy. She can you can use some of her souls to um, give her pre fight abilities. One that power drains on the end of every hit, so or on the end of every medium hit. So that's really good. So she can just power drain, never let them get a special three, as long as they don't have like their own version of power gain. Um, she has an armor up buff. Same thing with the Warlock I forgot to mention, and Colossus, I guess. All three of the last characters I've mentioned have armor up buffs, so they're all counters to Havoc. One of her pre-fights is she can heal off of every medium attack, like a certain percent of damage, or she deals. So normally it's like a 1% heal, and then she has another pre-fight, which is every 20 hits, it's a guaranteed to crit. So... This is the reason why that's a thing is because Guillotine also cannot crit naturally at all. So she's a really good counter for Mr. Sinister because she never crits. And there's a lot of fights that you just don't want to crit in. So it's a really good piece of utility. So that's really helpful. Her special one has power drain. Her special two has heal reversal a tiny bit. Not the best, but it's still there. And overall, her sustainability and is just so strong that she's just, she's just such a good character. You got to end the fight with the special three, though, to get the damage. And um, Guillotine 2099, there's no piece of content in the game right now that you can get her to her max damage because everything dies too quickly. So yeah, Guillotine 2099, if you're a good player and you can never get and you don't get hit and you can keep your combo meter up because that's where her damage is tied to, um, she she can get you so much. Like the John Mulaney challenge, she basically like bodied every single fight in that. Now we're in the top four, the big boys. At number four, this is a hard decision to make. The fourth best immune to bleed character, we got Corvus Glaive. Corvus is not fully immune to bleed, but he's 100% resistant to it, which is honestly better in a lot of scenarios because you take the bleed and most people run willpower, you just heal from it. So it's just such a good thing to have, being resistant instead of immune. Uh, he's fully immune to cold snap, bleed, and shock, and frostbite, obviously. So he's triple immune, but he's not immune to any of them. Once again, he's um, he just doesn't take damage. He's resistant, which is honestly better. Corvus, with his awakening ability, pretty much can never die. So that makes him really good for like dealing with any kind of bullshit damage over time. His damage is some of the highest in the game. His damage output, guaranteed crits. Uh, you know, most people know how Corvus works. Unblockable special too, power drains off it. Just overall, sick powerhouse of a character. Can fully counter auto block and evade if need be with some synergies. He's just overall such a good character, and just the ability to do so much damage in such a short amount of time 
and to heal from most debuffs instead of taking damage from them. Just makes them an all on beast, especially with this awakened ability. Now at the number three slot. Um, it's number three and number four can be interchangeable. I don't really know which one's better. It's very hard to tell right now. But for me, number three, third best bleed immune character in the game is Cosmic Ghost Rider. Cosmic Ghost Rider is a very new character, so it's so hard to see if he's better than Corvus or not right now. But for me, I'm going to put him above Corvus just because this character, his damage output is so strong that he ends like he ends like Realm of Legends fight in like 20, 30 hits. It's unreal. Cosmic Ghost Rider is obviously bleed immune and incinerate immune, so he's double immune. His damage is, is one of the highest output in the game. He has a reliable um, armor break, so that's really helpful for fighting like Killmonger and Emma Frost and other characters that you need to armor break. He can um, stop power gain and stop um, with his awakened ability. The awakened ability isn't needed, but yeah. When fighting a villain, he, start, he has a 100% chance to place an indefinite armor break, so pretty much Killmonger is, are just non-existent. And, you know... He has armor buffs he can trigger, but, I mean, he has to get a hit for that, so it's not the most worth it. But I guess if you want to take a hit, you can be a Havoc immune. Fury, Precision, Cruelty, Power Gain, Unblockable, Vigilance, and ampl ap uh, ampl uh, Aptitude buff, sorry. And um, just when you stack all these buffs up and you just throw a massive special 2 or special 3, it just one-shots opponents. Especially with the same, same thing, Corvus and Cos Cosmic Ghost Rider, you can give them Cosmic Power Boost. And these two characters are some of the best in the game. Just absolutely destroying everything. I would love a Cosmic Ghost Rider more than anything in the world right now. He's just such a good character, and he doesn't need to be awakened, but it makes him really good. So yeah, number three slot goes to Cosmic Ghost Rider. Now we are in the top two characters for most bleed-friendly, I guess, best bleed counters in the game. So, number two, we got my boy. You can probably guess these last two also if you're an endgame player. Number two, we got Magneto. Magneto, just like Corvus, is not immune, but he's resistant to bleed. He is with, he's 90% reduced um, bleed and shock resistant, but if you have Coagulate Mastery, he's fully immune to bleed, fully resistant, so he just heals from bleeds and shocks, basically. Magneto, I mean, everyone knows Magneto. He's a new buff character, one of the best mutants in the game. Top two, him or Omega Red. And, um... Just being bleed resistant and healing from it is just so good for like suicide runners like me. And you know what is there to say about Magneto? He has some of the craziest damage in the game. If they're um, if they're hashtag metal, they will literally just die after one special three. If they're not bleed immune, the bleeds will most likely just do you get like a massive bleed, and then once it ends, it'll do like one burst bleed, like a shrapnel bleed, and it does like over a hundred thousand damage instantly. If they're bleed immune, it'll place armor breaks on a special three instead, and that's just a one shot in like every fight in the game, basically. So he's just so good. I mean, if you're metal, um, you can't wait. Where is it? If they're metal, they well for one they have seventy percent ability accuracy reduction and one hundred five percent regeneration rate, so they pretty much can't regenerate. Um, you have fifty percent per perfect block chance. You can't be auto blocked or missed. So he's just so good. And you're thinking like you know most most metal characters are tech well. If they are tech and they're metal, which most of them are, he just removes the class disadvantage that he would have in their class advantage. So he's just so good. Magneto, honestly, one of the best characters in the game. Easily top 10, I would say. So good. Has crazy prowess, crazy armor break, crazy special three. Just Most fights are dead by the special three. And for people who are on suicides like me, it's super nice. Because, you know, you heal in the beginning of the fight, and then just one special three, you can't take recoil from special threes, and the fight's over. So yeah, Magneto is number two on the list. Could be number one if there wasn't one better character when it comes to bleeds. Um, Omega Red. Omega Red is the best bleed character in the game. Not because he's bleed immune, it's because he's bleed resistant. And not just because he's bleed resistant. Like, Corvus and Magneto are bleed resistant. But this guy is more than bleed resistant. He takes bleeds and makes them crazy damage. He converts any bleeds he gets to do crazy degeneration damage. Overall, I think maybe Magneto is better, but when it comes to just bleed fights, you don't have to run suicides just for like crazy bleed fights to this guy to just have that crazy damage because they'll just get the bleeds on him. So for any bleed fight, a Mega Red will most likely be the best option. And the great thing about Magneto and a Mega Red is the only fights Mega Red struggles on, which are robots, is like the fights that Magneto excels on. So you bring these two together and they pretty much can do most things in the game. But I put a Mega Red above him just because when it comes to bleeds, 
This guy takes bleeds and creates some of the strongest damage in the game when you barely have to touch them. Being able to do 95% of your damage from not even touching the opponent is so good for characters that like, uh, you know, for characters that like you don't want to give them a lot of power and you don't want to hit them that much. So stuff like that. Scenarios where you want to stay away. You can just do big damage and you're just watching them die. He um, can also just counter Magic's, Magic's Limbo if you push her over a bar power with a tentacle hit. It doesn't count. Tentacle hits for him also do not, um, like, they're, I think, they don't count as, like, physical hits. So, like, it ignores uh, Korg's Rock Stacks and, like, Electro's damage back. So, he's just overall so good. He has crazy regeneration. Kate, crazy power steal in the special three. Um... Crazy heal off the special one, crazy damage off the special two from the death field he activates. He just, he's so good, and he's also poison immune. So, when you you know, he's one of the best suicide characters in the game because, you know, you don't have the poison on you, and the only thing you have is the bleed, which just heals you because he's resistant to it. And while you have the bleed up, you're doing crazy damage because, you know, with the Mega Red, you do want to have a bleed on you. So, and then him just alone is crazy, but then you mix him with, like, Colossus and Sabertooth Synergy, and he's just... His damage is unrivaled. So when it comes to the bleed debuff, he is arguably the, I think for me, the best character in the game to bring. The only thing is, he does need to be awakened and high sigged. Um, if he's not awakened, I would say Magneto is definitely the best. But um, yeah, if he wasn't awakened, he might not even be in the top 10. But once you get him awakened and high sigged, he is the best bleed counter in the game for 99% of fights. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this list. And once again... You know, we're not using characters like Ghost and Aegon because they're not... Because I'm talking just bleed immunity. So, not like shrugging them off like Ronin and Ghost and Aegon and Agent Venom. Not sh shit like that. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, Aegon... I mean, not Aegon. Omega Red is just a beast. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this top 10 list. Tell me what your 10 list would be in the comments. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.